Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about a new trend that is called de-influencing, where influencers basically tell their audience about things that they do not need, that they should not buy. They try to de-influence them rather than influencing them to buy a bunch of random products. And today, I am here to continue that trend to tell you about another thing that you should not buy, that you should not spend money on, and that thing is called Tinder Select. Tinder just made an insane business decision that I am convinced was just designed to exploit and prey upon desperate, lonely people who are on their platform. It is totally disgusting, and we're gonna talk about that today. Before we dive into this, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. So this was the first tweet that I saw that broke the news about Tinder Select. And guys, this is the most important part about Tinder Select. It costs $499 a month. That is $6,000 a year to be in Tinder's elite cohort. So this was the tweet. It's from Pop Crave, my favorite. I get so much content from them. Tinder announced a new invite-only subscription called Tinder Select. In this plan, subscribers can message any users they have not matched with. Additionally, the most sought-after users will be able to see their profiles. This plan costs $499 per month. I declare bankruptcy! That is more than basically everything. I'm trying to think of what that's more than. Like, that's more, that's... How I pay $50 a month for the gym. I mean, it's more than your car payment, probably your car payment and your insurance combined. It's just, in, it's asinine. Like I know people wanna find love. I know people wanna have a connection, but $500 a month in this economy is not gonna happen, Tinder. And one thing that stood out to me when I read this tweet is that with this new feature, you can just message people who don't wanna speak to you who have not matched with you, and that's appealing to people. You wanna pay money to talk to people who don't wanna talk back to you. Like somebody commented and said, oh great, finally I can pay $499 a month to message people who didn't swipe right on me, what a steal. Somebody else said, they ought to be paying you $500 a month to go on dates with the people who you meet on there. <laughs> oh God, somebody else said, now you can be lonely and poor. Somebody else said, that's Bidenomics at work. Bidenomics is working. False. Now this is just, I mean, maybe they, you know, inflated it because of the economy. This is just terrible financial decisions. If you subscribe to this, that is a terrible, terrible financial decision. That's terrible. Somebody else said, spending $500 to contact people that weren't interested is giving major stalking vibes. You think? It's objectively weird. Like that one detail is so creepy to me and I can't get past the idea that people would want to message folks that don't even want to talk to them. But also I shouldn't be surprised because we live in 2023 and we see the way that people talk to each other online and DM each other, very weird things. It just feels creepy and invasive. Like somebody is invading your space and spying on you, kind of like big tech does, which is why you need ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like taking a call on a train or on a bus on speakerphone for everyone to hear. Do not let your personal business become everyone's business. I keep my business private using ExpressVPN. Internet service providers know every single website you visit. They can legally sell this information without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. That's even weirder than Tinder Select. When you use ExpressVPN, internet service providers cannot see your online activity. Your identity is anonymized by a secure VPN server and your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. ExpressVPN is easy to use. You can just fire up the app and click one button and your ExpressVPN subscription works on all your devices, phones, laptops, and even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Cooper and you will get an extra three months free. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash Cooper. That will make you feel much more protected and private and secure, unlike being on Tinder now that there are a bunch of Tinder select people roaming around in your chats. So to join this prestigious Tinder select cohort, you don't just chalk up $500 to the CEO of Tinder and you are immediately in the program. No, because like that tweet said, invite only. You must apply and fit strict criteria and then just hope and pray that you get selected to join and have the opportunity to pay them $499 a month. I literally thought it was a typo. I was like, $499? That's funny. No, $499 a month, I can't get over it. And it's almost like they're trying to replicate that exclusive dating app called Raya that's for you know high profile people and you have to get referred to get on there and then they have to review your application, except it's not like that at all because it's Tinder. 
Yes, like that's the most important part here. On their website, they said, what is Tinder Select? Select is Tinder's exclusive membership that gives you unrivaled access to the absolute best of Tinder. Again, it's very weird. It's like here are people that have not swiped on you, that are not interested. We're going to give them to you because you're paying. It's That's not love, that's transactional. But anyway, if you are chosen to be in Tinder Select, you will receive perks like messaging, non-matches, again, very weird, we have established that, increased visibility in their algorithm, and you'll feel good about yourself knowing that you are amongst Tinder's, quote, most sought after users. They literally say that. They put this little bullet point list of all the things that you get. You get a special select badge on your profile and you'll feel good knowing that you are in this artificially created VIP 1%. That is what you are paying $500 a month for. To talk to people who aren't interested in you and to have a little badge and to feel like a VIP. It is so stupid. I'm sorry. But if I saw select on a man's Tinder profile, that would be an immediate turnoff because what idiot would spend $500 for Tinder. This idea is so bad that it reminds me of a dating app version of Firefest, which we just had an episode on. It was an absolute catastrophe. That is basically what this is. Now, when all of this was initially announced and they put it out there, obviously people had thoughts about it like I do. And the chief product officer of Tinder said that, quote, we know that there is a subset of highly engaged and active users who prioritize more effective and efficient ways to find connections. So we engaged in extensive tests and feedback with this audience over the past several months to develop a completely new offering. Okay, so you have highly engaged, active users who would love a more effective and efficient way to find matches. So you decide that the best way to do that is to make them pay $500 a month to message people who aren't interested in them. Can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. Can we not agree that this is just so weird? Like, no way this does not blow up in their faces. Somebody commented and said, If you have to pay $500 a month to find a date, you might be the problem. Not wrong, but a harsh truth. Another person commented and said, going outside is $0. They're preying on the desperate, lonely, and undesirable, gross. And that is a harsh tweet, but I also think that that is a really important point, and I think it kind of brings the story down to earth, because obviously this is very funny, this is very stupid, but I also think that this is actually very disgusting, what Tinder is doing. Because this new feature This, you know, Tinder Select, what they are offering, the perks that you get, it changes nothing for the users who are in this cohort of Tinder Select, except make them probably look less desirable to other users who will think that it's ridiculous that they're spending $500 a month to get the little Tinder Select badge and will think it's creepy that they can message them without swiping on them first. It helps nobody except Tinder and they know that. Which brings me to my next point of how Tinder is so skewed towards women getting unlimited dates while guys can barely get a single match. Just watch this. This guy's 24 years old and has been on Tinder 128 days. He swiped 59,760 times, which is the equivalent of swiping 467 times a day. So he's definitely paying for gold. He only swiped right 183 times, which means he swiped right on 99.97% of people. So I really don't want to know what those 0.03% look like. Out of those 59,000 577 right swipes, he got 342 matches, which for a guy on Tinder isn't even that bad. So for every girl that swiped right on him, 173 swiped left. Those 342 matches led to 162 chats, but he got zero dates. What I'm trying to say is Tinder is a f***ing scam. Save your money, boys. And these are not just anecdotes. There are tons of videos about this, but they have literally done studies about how Tinder specifically is so skewed towards women and how men get the bottom of the barrel, they never actually get dates, and they're totally screwed over by the entire platform. And men know this, and they are abandoning Tinder. Somebody commented and said, I just get their Instagrams and message them there. Tinder is a waste of time. Somebody else said, I've been on Tinder for six years. And in those six years, I only got around 30 matches. 30 matches in six years, not joking, it's that bad. And out of those 30 matches, I did not get a single date. They all just ghosted me after a brief conversation. My point is, don't waste your time on Tinder. I wish all men would just stay off of it so it goes out of business. And then another person said, I was on Tinder for two years. I'm 6'4", 200 pounds, average on looks, and make 70K. I got about 20 matches. 18 were bots. The two that weren't didn't reply. I have never been more suicidal than when I used Tinder. And under that video we watched, there are hundreds of other comments from men just like these. So considering that Tinder obviously knows about this and knows the data about their platform, it would make sense that they would concoct some sort of solution to keep these desperate men interested and keep them on the app because they are leaving. But again, their solution 
does not actually help men or any women that find themselves in a similar situation. It literally only lines Tinder's pockets. That is the only thing that Tinder Select is doing. They are giving the ultimate pay to play option to vulnerable, desperate, lonely people with no guarantee that it will actually work and no real perks other than feeling good because you're a VIP. This is incredibly sad. But this is our reality, people, because we know the dating apps cause burnout. We know that it often harms the mental health of their users, which makes sense because they turn something that is so based on vulnerability and chemical, biological attraction and genuine connections into an addicting game that you cannot win. They don't actually want you to find love and delete the app. They want you to stay on their apps and keep swiping and keep paying them. Don't give it to them. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.